Hey Pally, Anushka here. Today is Monday, December 11th, and we have Self Care Before Finals, the Junior Mu Museum, Study Abroad, and TEDx Gun High School coming up in today's episode. But first, today's daily pick was sent in by Bry Sid, who is getting into the finals mentality. Bry took a photo with his friend David and used some neat technology to mirror the photo to make it look like someone was ki like he was kissing himself. He captioned the pic, "Sending myself love before finals. Great to see you showing some self care in honor of Self Care Week." David. Finals is definitely all about the mentality and is, as Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Thanks for that, Bri. Pally, remember to show us some love by sending us your daily picks to our email at bulletin at infocusnews.tv or to our Twitter at Pally in Focus. Now let's take, look at, take a look at today's campus bulletin. With finals coming up and student stress on the rise, Pally's Wellness Center is sponsoring Self Care Week. Throughout the, this entire week on the quad and in the MAC, today is, is Choose to Snooze Day, which will be held on the quad, following by DIY bath salts day tomorrow, pet therapy and winter cards on Wednesday, soup tasting sponsored by the PTSA on Thursday, and yoga in the MAC boardroom on Friday. The experiment for the International Living Organization offers three and four week high school study abroad programs to 26 countries including Italy, Tanzania, the Netherlands, China, Costa Rica, Germany, Ireland and more. Tomorrow during lunch in front of the student center, the director of admissions for the program will have a table set up with examples of the experiment's 2018 summer programs, include soccer and social change in Brazil, Chinese language and traditions in China, an international relations program in Germany, journalism and media in the UK, plus more. If you have the international travel bug, be sure to check, check it out. Coming up on, in January, TEDx Gun High School will be taking place in the Haymarket Theatre. The event is free of charge and the entertaining and informative presentations will happen on January 20th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students planning on to work during the winter break should download their request for a work permit form from the PAUSD website or pick one up from the work experience in the guidance office. Three days minimum should be allowed for processing and students should include all signatures, phone numbers on Infinite Campus, and social security numbers. Offices will be closed during winter break, so make sure to turn in requests for work permits no later than December 20th by 12 to the permit box. Palo Alto's Junior Museum and Zoo was approved for an expansion last week. The City Council unanimously voted to approve clearance and pass a park improvement ordinance. The new museum will boost a new exhibit, galleries, classrooms, and storage spaces, and an outdoor area for visitors to hang out with birds, insects, and other animals. Construction is expected to begin 2018 and finish during the summer of 2019. For now, the museum will be moved to the Coverly Community Center. Now let's move on to the world of sports. Abby Black is in the studio with all the latest. How's life, Pally? On Saturday, girls varsity soccer lost to Archbishop Midi 0-1. Girls JV soccer also lost against Midi, but with a score of 0-4. Unlike girls soccer, boys varsity soccer beat Lincoln 2-0, and girls varsity basketball had a game against Lincoln this Saturday and beat them 59-36. Coming up today, boys soccer has games against Sequoia. Both are at 3.30 at home with JV on the football field and varsity on the lacrosse field. That's all for sports. Back to you, Anusha. You may have noticed a new addition to the Pali campus. Paul Thai has more. Hey Pally, Paul Thai here. I'm here to give you an exclusive tour of the Perry Center. Let's go. If you ever come out to a Viking basketball volleyball game, make sure to come check out the Viking Snack Shack The great deals and prices for all Pali students. When you walk into the Perry Center, you can see the new beautiful sunken in basketball stadium. As you walk along the side of the main gym, you'll see many famous athletes that went to Pali, including Jim Harbaugh and many others. As you can see, Pali left the pool that added bleachers and a scoreboard. Now let's continue our tour on the second part of the gym. We're in the second part of the gym, also known as the small gym, where there's actually a yoga class going on right now. So we gotta keep quiet. 
Now I'm in the second gym where the weight room is and the classrooms. This is a place to work out during flex or after school. This is the second gym elevator. Let's go. The new wrestling rooms are also used as yoga classes. Well, this is all from the Perry Center. This is Paul Thai. Back to you in the studio. Well, that does it for us today. Until next time, have a great day, Pally. Mm.